Welcome back to another video guys and today we are going to be going over my favorite types of paper. Uh, kind of a top five, not really. Uh, you know the lists are all crazy on YouTube and uh, instead of doing a top five, top ten, these are just my, my favorite five. Uh, you can think of it as a countdown, uh, but I, you know, I, I've been asked a lot what kind of papers I recommend for drawing, coloring, marker use, uh, watercolor, um, and there's a huge gamut of them, uh, but these are just my five favorite go-to papers, and a lot of them you've seen in uh, a lot of the videos that I do, so uh, without further ado, let's get started with my uh, sketch cards. Uh, these come in packs of 20 and they are sometimes created by Strathmore, some of our Arkansan. You can get them vellum, which means that they have a tooth to them, so it'll catch. And then there's smooth. Uh, Bristol paper is what they mostly use for sketch cards, but you can find other paper types. Um, just look out for smooth or vellum. And, uh, You'll tell right away the uh, difference in the grain, but obviously paper's gonna look the same, but you can get them in this size. There's multiple different sizes that you can get, but the reason I like them is because pencil strokes look very refined. So, big fan of these, and especially the fact that you can use regular baseball card uh, sleeves. And you can get some pretty cool cases to put them in. Obviously, I'm a baseball fan. <laughs> Not really a go-to paper, but on my uh, fourth favorite type of paper, uh, because I do like to use watercolor from time to time when I do uh, bigger pieces. I don't know if uh, people watch the video where I did uh, Jason. Uh, a lot of the horror videos that I did, I used uh, like a blood splatter effect. So before I, I actually put that on paper, I'll test it out on watercolor paper. Uh, the biggest difference is that it's cold pressed. Uh, it has a, a fine grain, so it picks up a lot of your, your paint. And uh, let's, let's try to catch it in the video here. <laughs> This um, this one actually I got at Walmart for you know three or four bucks in the clearance bin, uh, but I, I'll typically buy it from from the art store. Uh, fairly inexpensive. Uh, you get, this one comes with 30 pages, and um, I really enjoy this this paper, especially as a, um, as a go to uh, in case I run out of you know Bristol or or uh, uh, sketchbook paper. Uh, you can get it with the rings at the top. Uh, this one is a peel-off one. Uh, this is a good example of one that I was working on. Watercolor paper. Uh, it's an ogre. I had to stop because I ran out of green. <laughs> um, and uh, because of my color issues, uh, I had I have to go get the palette for it. I have, I have my actual thing labeled. It's very lightly labeled, but uh, you know, I just uh, I wanted to be able to make sure that when I blend, I'm blending the right color. My number three favorite type of paper is 300 series Strathmore sketch paper. This is very different from the 300 series Bristol board uh, because it is your typical sketchbook paper. This is what you would um, think of when you think of a sketchbook. And be mindful when you do go to stores and you buy sketchbooks there is sketchbook paper and then there's drawing paper drawing paper is is it tends to be strictly for pencil whereas sketch paper is more of a mixed media it is fine tooth so a lot like the the uh, watercolor paper uh, but I feel like it's a um, it's a good bang for your buck these are usually three or four dollars cheaper than your Bristol boards uh, and you get more paper. This has 100 sheets. Uh, this is where I do a lot of thumbnails and uh, any ideas that I come up with, I'll draw it in here. I'll just give you an example. This is probably a good seven or eight years old here. Just doing a joker peeling off his face. Uh, 
highly recommend this paper, especially if you're starting out and you just want to doodle. Uh, that way you get a little bit more bang for your buck. You can make your paper stretch. Uh, if I had a kneaded eraser, I could make a kneaded eraser joke. <laughs> My number two. This was uh, really hard to choose from because it, they're, they're, the number two and number one are pretty similar as far as um, paper quality and, and bleed and um, you know how stuff looks at the end because if a paper has a, a whiteness rating of 92 and up uh, colors tend to pop better and even with my issue with seeing certain colors uh, I can see how how vibrant the colors look compared to a drawings um, book uh, you know a, a sketchbook that is drawing paper is going to be a lot lower in brightness and things don't pop like they normally would on this type of paper this is a sample that i actually got from the art store that i work at uh, this is a 400 series paper it is by strathmore as well it is smooth so you can find um, vellum surfaces which have a a tooth on it uh, but this paper is amazing the Copics uh, if you team this up with a Copic you get some really great effects and uh, I'll show you uh, one of them here of course I don't have a black and white but this is on a bigger 400 uh, 400 series it is the Kazuya and Devil picture I did for Martial Arts Month, I believe back in October. Um, this wouldn't have popped like it does because without the use of this paper. Uh, obviously the Copics helped. To my number one, uh, <laughs> my wife is probably so tired of seeing this label all around the house. But this is called Bristol Board Paper Smooth. Similar to the sketch cards, but you got a bigger canvas to work with. Uh, always look for the series number. If you if you see sketchbooks by Strathmore at your Walmarts and Targets, they're gonna be uh, beginner series or 100 series. Those papers are great, but they are not as thick. Um, they're not gonna be bleed resistant. These, these are definitely amazing. I've probably spent most of my art budget on just getting Bristol paper. I do most of my commissions on this. You can go from all the way down to five by seven, and then it goes all the way up to, I believe 12 by 17. So the, the size um, varies. The paper quality is uh, probably the best I've seen from, from any sketchbook. You know, and Canson, uh, which is another company that makes paper, uh, they they are great, uh, but I, I tend to lean more to the Strathmore just because you can get really good bundles out there for uh, you know a decent amount of uh, money and not have to break the bank. Uh, so I highly recommend it. Uh, here are some pieces that I've done on this paper, and obviously these are videos that I've had on the channel. This is Cody Rhodes. Uh, I am not a big fan of drawing real people, but when it comes to wrestling, like I don't know what happens. I just I, I love drawing wrestlers. Uh, Triple H, King of Kings, and then I have Angel from uh, Shock Troopers 2 from the Neo Geo. Obviously, I'm a hardcore Neo Geo and Sega Genesis fan, so I just had to draw her. Uh, this this one is actually still available. Uh, the Triple H has been spoken for, so if anyone is interested in the comments down below, uh, just let me know and we can uh, talk about uh, getting this piece. All right, my honorable mentions uh, for the type of papers. Uh, the reason why this made it to the honorable mention spot is because I haven't had enough time to really evaluate the quality. Um, I, I like the paper, but as far as longevity, I want to see how good the picture looks um, three or four months from now, and I just haven't had this paper long enough, but I'm enjoying it so far. And the fact that it came with a kit uh, with markers and uh, 
you know, even a drawing book. I did a video on it as well, unboxing the uh, Copic's Essential Kit. But the Copic Marker Book. Um, I've been a fan of most everything that Copic puts out, but uh, this book, um, I just haven't spent enough time with it. So I, I want to try watercolor on it. I want to try uh, different types of brushes and really see if it holds uh, holds uh, holds up to like a Canson or a Strathmore brand paper. Um, as you can see, paper is super important. And uh, you know, if you don't get the right one, or if you find one that just colors look muddy or your pencil's not working right on, uh, it can really make your work suffer. So uh, not taking away anything from any artists out there, but if you find the right paper, it's gonna work for you. Another honorable mention is the Canson Fanboy Manga Paper. Uh, these I used to use for character layouts, uh, concepts, because it's just the right size for a portfolio. And uh, it comes in a nice, neat little package with a pencil. And uh, if someone in the comments is interested in this, uh, just uh, watch out for the next live stream for the 800th episode and I will be giving away one of these as well as a commission piece from either my portfolio or something that uh, you pick and this is just to get you guys going as far as art uh, I um, love to share you know the, the passion for the craft so anyone uh, out there look out for that 800 uh, subscriber stream because uh, I will be giving away a piece of art and one of these so it is packaged I have a couple of them so who knows I might pick a couple people another honorable mention and you've probably seen this one being used is tone tan paper now the effect you can get with it is uh, is amazing the only reason why I didn't make the, my top five is for just the mere fact that when you are recording it does flicker on camera. Um, the paper, it, it, it has a, uh, uh, a mixed identity. It doesn't want, it doesn't know if it wants to be mixed media paper or if it wants to be a Bristol board. It just, uh, it just, I don't know. It just, just that close though. <laughs> and then the last one is the Copic PM uh, paper which is made with a little transparency so as you can see there's two pictures here and then there's one back there so it's like tracing paper uh, but it gives you the option to test out your colors uh, I just it, it has the same problem that tone tan paper has that it has a mixed identity it doesn't know what it wants to be because just add a little bit more thickness and this would be an amazing paper for light boxes and uh, you know tattoo artists who might need to retrace something or redraw something um, but it's just ends up being way too thin I mean it's almost razor thin and uh, I like my paper to be a little thicker uh, but what's nice it does does give you a ruler for different paper sizes so I mean, there's give and take there. Uh, the other caveat with uh, Copic is because it's being imported from Japan, it can be very pricey to get Copic paper. Um, just, just for comparison, this Bristol board paper usually retails for about five bucks and it comes with 20 sheets. This has 50 sheets and it was almost $20 when I got it. Uh, the price has come down. But, I mean, $20 and you could have gotten 120 uh, pages compared to 50. Uh, you'll find deals out in, in the wild, but uh, that's one of the caveats with getting uh, Copic. Just like their markers, uh, I made a joke that I said I wanted to go to Japan uh, just to buy Copic markers. And my wife's like, that's all. I was like, you don't realize how much money I'll save by going to Japan. Uh, but other than that, uh, you know, obviously everybody wants to go to Japan at some point in their lives, but yeah, I'm, I'm going for art supplies and Dragon Ball Z stuff, so <laughs> go figure. Uh, but that's pretty much it as far as uh, 
as my honorable mention. Well, I hope that uh, video helps uh, for anyone out there looking to kind of dive into uh, different paper. You know, especially nobody wants to use uh, your notebook paper or uh, computer paper. It's fun to get the right type of paper. So um, let me know in the comments down below if this video has helped. If you haven't subscribed yet, definitely hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit the little notification bell. Uh, hit the like button. Uh, thumbs down if you didn't like the video. I hope you did. <laughs> uh, but honestly, if you didn't like the video, I, it doesn't bother me if you thumbs down. Uh, and if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know. Um, let me know how excited you are about the giveaway. And uh, let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Any more of these type of videos. Um, or if you just want to just see me draw and doodle. Uh, it, this channel is all about sharing art. And we want to make art together. So it's not just me making art. I'm making art with you guys. So uh, I appreciate everyone watching. Thank you so much. And as always, don't forget to keep it over 9,000. Ah! <gasps>